Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the Gamecom and we are watching some more AI battles So this is probably going to be our last episode uh, We only have what like 52 turns left 51 turns left and it definitely feels like Gorgo is running away with it So we will have to see if that ends up being the case or if I don't know Maybe maybe Scythia can come through uh, at the end, but man, she has a lot of builders like what are you doing right now? Also, can we talk about how there are still three four five Five free cities right now that no one ended up taking and like look Anzo still is at full HP Like come on at least do some damage. Oh, oh, oh turn off the camera turn off the camera Yeah, it's like man. Why can't they at least do damage? <clears throat> also, I had someone mention uh, That the Fusier, however you say it are actually in the eight ages of war mod So not the uh, steel and thunder mod which actually makes more sense because the steel and thunder mod uh, Was purely just a uh, more additional units for every single sieve So I didn't realize I've never actually used that mod uh, before I just have it turned on now um, got recommended in uh, to me uh, So I decided to roll with it this time, but I've never actually played with it So I didn't know that it added units. So there you go Probably should read a little more about it uh, before, you know, I put in a mod, but sure, sure, sure. So what happened to Gorgo's army? Uh, they're all in the water right now. Yeah, I mean, remember, her army now is actually smaller than pretty much everyone out there. My gosh, India. India went heavy on the frigates. Did anyone build the Venetian arsenal? I don't think so. I don't think anyone has built it, because it would be on the water, and it would be next to a, uh, next to a dock or next to a shipyard. So... Because the Venetian shipyard allows you to get multiple ships when you build one, correct? I think that's what that one did. Yeah, I'm 99% sure because it's one of my favorite mods, or favorite uh, wonders. So I don't see anyone next to, I don't see any wonder in the water next to, uh, uh, next to a shipyard, so. Alright, well, there you go. Uh, now, I should pause it really quick just because I want to see who's at war with each other and uh, what exactly is happening. It looks like everyone's just pretty much holding their own territory right now, which is kind of, you know, boring. Uh, so, it appears as if no one's actually at war. Um, are, is, 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 is Gorgo at war with anyone? She's at war with Tomris, that's it. Um, everyone else seems to be fine. Uh, we're looking at the world rankings. Gorgo's at 40 tech, so she's pretty much even. Is she going to get a science victory? That's the question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Culture victory. 82 of 150, so she's a little over halfway. So I doubt it. I doubt she, in 44 turns she's going to be able to get uh, enough tourists to actually take the uh, culture victory. Uh, we will probably end up having to play the last couple turns. Because I think specifically with the... Uh, with the score victory, the game doesn't end when you hit 500 turns. Uh, it'll just keep going on forever and ever and ever. Uh, not normal games, but because we're playing at the auto play, that's what's going to happen. So that's why we should probably stop it. I love how they're just burning down all these lands, but they're still not doing anything to actually take the towns. Hey, he brought another bombard. Is he going to actually be able to do any damage to Anzo this time? See, there is something going on because he clearly just took a shot at Anzo and it didn't do any damage. So clearly there is something happening that these walls are like indestructible because like look at all these cities they're still at full power right now so I don't know maybe it's just a visual bug or maybe the walls are just ridiculously powerful surely it's not uh, the eight ages of war mod right you know what we're gonna pull it up <laughs> we're gonna see what it actually adds really quick just to make sure I'm not like totally missing something right here uh, So we want um, your subscribed items, please eight ages of war Okay, okay. Well while that's loading let's take a quick look again. Is there any other wonders that are going down? Yes, actually Cynthia is currently building the Alhambra noted Anything up here with Gorgo Gorgo is the culture one so she should be popping out as many wonders as possible. She is at war with Scythia, which is kind of hilarious that they're at war with each other because neither have any troops towards each other. And in fact, all of Gorgo's troops are still facing India right now. Uh, India doesn't appear to be building any wonders. Is Rome building any wonders? Not that I can tell. Okay, someone is spreading religion over here. And it looks like, it looks like it's Greece. Yeah, Greece has pushed really hard on religion over there. That's really depressing. Because I really, really thought Scythia had a chance there. Really thought they had a chance to uh, actually get some more one or to uh, uh, get the sign, uh, the religious victory. So, anyways, we got ten new promotion trees for land and sea units. Small changes to the stats of most land units. Range units are weaker across the board. 
Okay, so maybe that's what's happening over here. New policies, all heavy and light cavalry, more expensive, melee classes, more charges, slight changes, all Norway, England, adjusted, workaround, clarified text, completely removed naval warfare. Naval melee units can now coastal raid. Oh, that's cool. Naval range units have a weaker attack but stronger defense. All right, so it doesn't say anything about the walls. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but clearly, like, once again, clearly they took a shot here. Except the range, the garrison strength didn't change. Uh, the HP on the health didn't change. Part of me wants to actually, like... We're gonna be a little... We're gonna, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Hi, I want you to come down here, please. No, so he's still at full HP. That's really weird. I was wondering maybe it was not showing up because we're autoplaying, but it's still not showing up there either. So that's probably why these cities never flipped is because, well, see, okay, Kume actually did take slight uh, damage. So what, actually, what did it actually take to do damage to you? I mean, the Bombard should do enough, should do some damage. That's my point. Like, I know Renaissance Walls, the Bombard's not going to do a lot to it, but it should do a little bit of damage. Also, I find it hilarious that pretty much everyone's rolling with um, Renaissance Walls now, but no one actually has uh, any of the text to actually bring down the walls. So, we still don't have any artillery. We still don't have any field cannons. Uh... It's the Prince difficulty for you. Yeah, I think next time we may actually go with DT difficulty. And we're just going to have to hope that uh, whoever we play as doesn't die. So we'll we'll play as someone and then hide them in a corner. Or, or I don't know. We'll try something like that. I wonder... There's no cheats. I can reveal all. I'm wondering if there are other cheats where I can just give, like... I can give the AI we're playing as maybe like a bunch of money or something like that. Just so, um, you know, we can cheat to keep up with the AI's cheating. Uh, you know, it won't be an exact one-to-one -one replica, but, you know, if we can keep them alive, it might be interesting to see. Okay, so Gorgo's still popping out. What's with all the builders recently? Same thing with Scythia. Like, what's going on with the builders? <laughs> Is this a Prince difficulty thing where they just decide to pop out builders so you can just go steal them all? Now, she's still not working the coal. Yeah, she's still not working the coal. So she still doesn't have that high of a tech. I almost feel like their tech just curved off. So we're down to 27 turns at this point. And it, I don't know. It feels like their tech rate have just slowed down considerably. Once again, I also wonder if that's maybe a Prince difficulty thing. Where, you know, they, they, they keep it so the AI doesn't get too far ahead. So, you know, they just kind of stop at a certain point. Greece is actually working hard in Anopolis, and they actually did do a little bit of damage. Same thing, Kume is also slightly injured. But still, Anzo is at full HP, and I have no reason why. Also, hey, you have all these frigates right now. Why aren't you shooting at Anzo? Maybe you are shooting at Anzo. Yeah, see, there you go. You're shooting all. No, I think you're shooting at the Mexican men. Are you at war? We'll have to see if Rome's at war with Alexander. I don't think they are. If not, then they were totally shooting at Anzo. Anzo is just like indestructible right now. It's kind of hilarious. Hi, Alexander. No, hi. I don't care. I don't care. Hi, are you at war? No, you're not at war. So all those shots were against the walls then in Anzo. And somehow it didn't do any damage. There's something weird going on there. Uh, I want to look at ages. That's what I was going to do. So India's in a dark age. Everyone's in a dark age right now. Hmm. 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 Luckily, they're coming in patching that pretty quick. <laughs> Someday, someday. You know, I actually hadn't heard. I hadn't heard when if they released anything. I've been checking pretty much every day, but today was one day I didn't actually check yet. Uh, nope, they still haven't announced any updates yet. Okay. They announced the update. When was it? 4.15? 4.12 is when they announced it, it looks like. And today is the last day in April, 4.30. So, hopefully soon. I would like to get another series going. Will we start another one without that update? Yeah, the problem is I just don't want to start like a 30 part series uh, on uh, a game. Well, okay, so we started a 30 part series and then halfway through the series they update it. You know, that's just not as fun. I would rather play the entire series on the new update. We can stay through some AI for now. That's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I wonder what our next AI series will be. Sorry, not our next AI series. Our next non-AI series. Um, I have some ideas on it. 
pretty sure we're gonna go for like a cultural victory. I uh, don't think I want to try another domination victory, at least in Rise and Fall. Uh, and if we do do a Rise, uh, well, if we do ever try a Rise and Fall domination victory, we know a little bit better how to handle it with the loyalty issue. And basically, it's burn everyone to the ground. Also, we're not gonna be playing with the freaking closer city mod again. Uh, the thing is, it like it literally. Uh, no, we're not gonna go into it. We're not gonna go back into my Rome game. <laughs> I'm not going to go back to complaining about it. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm trying to find other things to talk about because Gorgo's clearly running away right now. She actually has quite a few infantrymen, but they're all hanging out in Greece. None of them are coming down here into Scythia's territory. Uh, and she doesn't seem to be interested... Well, I mean, it, it almost looks like she's trying to take Anzo, but yeah. yeah, Anzo the Ind Indestructible. That's going to be like the name of the city if india had troops nearby i would actually go and try hitting it myself and see what happens but since i don't have troops nearby i don't really think i can do anything about it so we're down to 19 turns okay now it looks like um uh rome is actually going for opinium but i don't know if they attacked the musketmen or if they actually went for the city hey sinopolis is actually falling they're actually losing hp <laughs> slowly uh, but that's the only one that's actually taken any damage besides the little bit for Kume. And the funny thing is the fortification health should be back at 100 because no one's attacking it. But still just sitting there at 96. And once again, okay, let's note this. The fortification health went down, but not the actual garrison health. But yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, so the walls went down. This is so weird. So also the other thing to note, these are Renaissance walls, are they not? 17 turns. Yeah, those are Renaissance walls. We have Renaissance walls here. So why is the fortification health 150 for you and 100 for you? And then 150 for you. Why do you only have 100 with your fortification health? You're at 200. What? So, okay, it must be based on the city size then. Your walls must be stronger, I guess, the bigger the city. Yeah, okay, okay. So if we came back over here, we have Renaissance wall. Yeah, you're at 200. So it must be up to a size of 200, depending on the size of the city then. Hmm, interesting to note. So our Pinium also has Renaissance walls, but it's at 150. So well, once again, why is Kume at 100? There are a lot of holes in the wall. So I wonder if maybe it got beat down and just never got repaired. And maybe that's also why it's at 100? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. And by we'll have to see, uh, I guess we'll have to look the next time we play a game and actually pay more attention to it. All right, Scythia, I don't know what you're trying to do right now, but this is a little stupid. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a builder war going on. They're sending the builders to fight each other. Oh my gosh. You have like 30 builders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You guys thought I was being sarcastic when I said 30. 34. 34 freaking builders. 35, 36, or 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 46 builders! I don't think you need 46 builders in an entire game. Wow. Okay. Rome's rolling around with like one. I guess they just have nothing else to build, so they're popping out builders. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, I mean, they don't even have any tiles to work, which is kind of the irony of the whole thing. So that's my only assumption is they just, other than building units, they're just popping out builders because they don't feel like their threat is high enough or maybe their army has hit that certain cap where they're like, well, we can't build any more troops because we're the AI and we need to build something. So instead of doing like, uh, you know, circuses or, you know, whatever the, the extra science boost, you know, uh, the campus, not the campus, the, the district uh, jobs, instead of doing those, uh, all they're doing is just building builders. Still, that's a little on the ridiculous side. Okay, so we're down to about 10 turns. Probably about like two, three, four turns. We'll just go ahead and roll with India. It's not like India is going to win. So um, not like we're really going to have to, uh, you know, make sure we play India perfectly. I don't know. We might just hit next turn and just kind of ignore everything for India. But I want to take a look at the charts. So, you know, for all you people who claimed Gorgo after the first episode, congratulations. It looks like you're going to win. Their city sizes are pretty freaking nice, too. 17, 12, 11, 12, 18. We're in 2047. Eh. We're in 2047, and most people are barely using infantry. 
and they still are rolling around with frigates <laughs> and builders let's not forget the builders that they're bringing to the front lines maybe that's it if you have so many builders um no well does it end your turn so if you move like let's say you have a knight you move one space and take a builder that doesn't end your turn right i don't think i've ever really paid attention to it because if if it does that might be some high level strat there just keep throwing builders just to slow the enemy down <laughs> it's we can't get into their territory because it's taking forever because we have to take every builder one by one uh how is the religious thing going yeah, it looks so split right now, so I don't think anything is much happening. You are still Scythia uh, with Taoism. Uh, you are very much your Confucianism, which is what you're at. And then, yeah, you were bringing the Hinduism, so we are. We are. Okay, we got to be careful that we don't actually go past turn 200. So uh, this was five turns left. Ooh, they actually have battleships. <gasps> we have modern units. Yay. And by modern units, we have two battleships. Moot. <laughs> uh, I'm actually intrigued to see what her military power is. Now that she started getting a couple modern units. Yeah, this would have been so easy to win. I mean, my gosh, you're still rolling around with freaking quad dreams. All right, we're going to stop on the next turn, I think. And then we'll play it out. You still have frigates. Yeah, any competent player here would have definitely should have been able to win. Um, maybe at least not conquest, but science victory for sure. Just keep popping out science and build a couple. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to have one turn left. Uh, yeah, I forgot. It actually takes a turn to stop. Auto play marked. Wait for the new turn. But even, it, just build a couple science districts and just protect your borders, and you should have no problem beating the AI, it looks like. Okay, so turn 499. So we have one turn remaining. Okay, let's actually take a quick look. Overall, uh, 45 to 41 to 41 to 40 to 40. So she actually did pull out a little bit uh, more science than everyone else. But she's still at the same area as Tomris. They only got to the modern era. Wow. All right. Culture victory. Gorgo says she's really close. She actually is pretty decently close. Uh, domination victory. Scythia has 1,500 troops. Alexander has 2,300. Wow. Gorgo's also at 2,300. Trajan's at 2,200. Chandra group is at 1,700. All right. So, Thomas, you maybe should have built less workers and maybe less builders and more troops. I don't know. <laughs> and then Religious Scythia did end up getting two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's choose production. Doesn't matter. Give me a monument, you, which you never built. We're going to just go on alert. We're going to just forward alert. We're going to go alert. Is A? What's the hockey for alert? It's not F. I don't know if there is a hockey. Apparently, I don't know what you're doing with all your damaged ships way the heck over here. Oh my gosh. Can you not have this many ships? Thank you. Alert. Alert. <laughs> oh, the AI with their 7,000 units. I'm getting flashbacks here. All right. Sleep. 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 Oh my gosh. So apparently every one of these units aren't on fortification, which I suppose makes sense. But I guess that goes to show you that AI never fortifies. But these are mostly ships. Oh, wait. Oh, these are Varu. I can actually fortify these guys. These are land units. Dang it. I'm clicking so cl uh, quickly. I'm not even sure uh, what I was doing was C or... Oh, no, 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 no. I want to look at score victory. So, yeah, she's schooling in score right now. All right. So let's see. Final cutscene. So we're going to get another lost cutscene. <laughs> or the game just didn't end. The game didn't end. Uh, okay. I think I had to end it with maybe... Maybe it's one more turn then? Maybe it's one more turn? God. Maybe it's one more. It said zero turns remaining. So turn 500 or 500. Maybe it ends right here. Your error score, 111. So everyone was in the dark age to end the game. There we go. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. You lost the game. Thank you. So uh, Greek got the uh, victory. Cool. We want to take a quick look at our graphs. So culture per turn was pretty ridiculous for Ch Chandra Grupa. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry. That's Gorgo. Sorry. She, they look the same. The colors look the same. So her culture per turn was pretty high. Faith per turn. Gorgo actually was leading at the end. But she had to pull that back up. Gold balance. Tomaris had a ton of gold right there, and then she ended up with no gold at the end. That's why she didn't have military units at the end, because she didn't have any gold. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why that happened. Science victory was still pretty, or science was pretty even. Gorgo led on that one. And the funny thing is, you can just notice 
Like, it was about turn 250, she really started pulling away. But she was pretty well leading pretty much the whole game. It was, man, right up here about 120, uh, 140, 150 or so. Uh, and then she just really just was unchecked rest of it. Total building constructed wasn't as big of a difference. Cities constructed. She actually didn't even have the most cities. Oh, that city's captured. Never mind. Uh, cities founded. She was highest on. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, cities lost. Genghis Khan. Ah, uh, because he actually lost the cities. All the other cities flipped, but no one actually lost them. Eh, that makes sense. Uh, total cities lost. We just looked at districts constructed. Yeah, Gorgo definitely won. Uh, great people. She definitely won. Number of combats. Tomris actually had the most number of combats. Total units killed was definitely Tomris. Units lost was actually Gorgo. Huh. So she lost more units than anyone, but somehow she still uh, was okay. Most war declarations received. So pretty even. Also, can we talk about that? 20. Freaking 20 war declarations received? My gosh. Wars declared. Also, that doesn't seem right. So wars declared was like five? <laughs> but somehow we're like at 20? I'm so con that that what? Doesn't seem right. And then Wonders Constructed Gorgo. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed this series. Tomorrow we'll be back probably with another AI series. Uh, but yeah, as always, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.